Before we get into this video, I, I really want to uh, take the time to thank you very much for watching and thank you very much for clicking on the video itself. I go through some of the pretty much the futuristic applications of this channel and just my life in general. Uh, I want cloud gaming to be more accessible to people and I also want to create my own cloud gaming platform. I want to get more people, more guests onto this podcast. There's a lot of things that I really want to do and those things will not be possible without the people that watch and support me. So liking the video helps to go very, very far, you know, sharing it with, with a friend and I do appreciate all, all the support, even, even though sometimes I may not seem like it, but I'm just a, maybe just an angry person. I'm not really sure, but thank you very much for watching and please enjoy the rest of the podcast. So let's dive deep here into the Activision Blizzard Microsoft acquisition. This is going to be a, an interesting, an interesting one. So I know you've been seeing this all over, all over your your for you page and feeds of people playing. I mean, I've even seen some live streams of, of it now. Of people playing the old Modern Warfare Two, the good one, obviously. The Call of Duty Four, War That War, Black Ops, Black Ops Two, playing multiplayer games, and everybody's so happy about it. Now, this is a step in the right direction. I want to look on this on a on a good note and not on a bad note but i i will i do want to caution anyone that is now like call of duty is great we're gonna it's always gonna be good like just take a step back pump the brakes for a second all right what i what i want everyone to understand what i what, what i want everyone to kind of take into account is that microsoft is also a large corporation they have been buying up companies gaming co companies alike and they have been making their own games and i feel like that there's a monopoly forming as far as xbox at least for right now right let's be honest i've i've said this in a few videos before and i've said this a while a while ago but playstation has a monopoly on playstation essentially xbox microsoft has a monopoly on on, on xbox and Steam has a monopoly on PC. Now, um, I think it's called it. Um, what's I'll, I'll I'll look up in a second. But for my point, uh, for mobile, it's Android. It's essentially Sam Samsung and Apple. They have the majority share of the market for technology for app for apps for you know for mobile games and whatever else. So let's take a look at this real quick. What is the word for multiple companies which are monopolies? See, because it's not a monopoly, because it's not one. It's 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 an all it's an oligopoly, which is between uh, two or more com companies, right? So I want I, I want to caution ev everyone with this. Now, the intentions might be pure, but I highly doubt it. Okay. Um, and I'll give you an example why I think so in in uh, in just a second. So, um, PlayStation tried to stop Microsoft from buying Activision because Activision is a large corporation. It's, it is over a billion dollars in revenue a year. Over that, I think it's all. I think it's close to ten now. I'm pretty sure it's. I'm pretty sure it's close to ten. How much is Activision making in a year? Yeah, so they're at they're at they're at eight billion dollars. percent decline. <laughs> That's funny. Any, anyway, um, so they're at they're at eight point one four billion. Okay, and they're making a lot of money. So they're another billion dollar corporation just just for gaming, right? Microsoft almost got stopped by PlayStation and some form of the government, right? But now it looks like the thing is going through. So in, in, in good faith, what they're doing to be in our good faith and our good wishes, they gave us Xbox. The Xbox Call of Duties all are back online, okay? That's step one. Now let's hope that it goes in the better direction of pretty much making, making better Call of Duty games, making better games in general, hopefully, right? them not abandoning games and them doing what I said in my last podcast, which was essentially getting Treyarch 
to work on zombies and getting Infinity Ward and Sledgehammer to work on multiplayer. And even if we're talking about Ra Raven Software, we might as well just keep them on Warzone so that we got three separate companies working on what they're best at. Okay? That's what I think they should do. I don't know if they're going to do that, but they might. At the end of the day, I personally think, and, I, and I'm, I'm pretty confident in, in this answer, I think Microsoft is going to create a monopoly on Xbox. And now, yes, that is their product. But the, the problem with that is, is that now they can charge whatever they want. And that's what these companies are starting to do. Now, these big corporations are starting to charge you and I and game developers any uh, any amount of money to start make to start lining their pockets. Okay, that's an issue, right? Because now we have Game Pass, which is the cloud gaming on Xbox. <laughs> now, cloud gaming is where I want to go, but the problem is, is that. I started playing Xbox a long time ago. When they first started in when they first introduced Game Pass, it was they were giving it away for a dollar a month. A dollar. Okay? Actually, I think I got Game Pass for a year for one dollar. Okay. And it and the original price of it was I think nine ninety nine, I believe, at the time. It's gone up. Okay? It went up to twelve ninety nine. They started to get more games and more people wanted to be on it. Then they start. Then they, then they went up to fifteen ninety nine. Now they're at sixteen ninety nine. No, actually, sorry, they they were at fourteen nine nine ninety nine. Now they're at sixteen ninety nine. And now, if you look on your statement, it's at eighteen something, eighteen sixty seven with tax and everything. So, the the thing I'm trying to caution all gamers with here is, what might happen. Is they, is they might start doing monopolies on these things and charging and pretty much squashing every piece of competition that's out there. And then they're going to pretty much charge whatever they want to charge. So now your Game Pass may go from $18 a month to $50 a month or more. Now, a lot of these newer gamers may say, ah, whatever, my parents are paying for it. Or, or they may even say, oh, whatever. That's a lot of money when, when, you, when you think about it. Now, the, the cloud gaming service that, that I want to create is not cheap either. Like, I mean, I'm, I'm pretty much going to give, like, unlimited amount of games, however many games that we can get on it, for, like, either $50 or $100 a month. But my point is that my cloud gaming service that I want to make is not going to be like Xbox. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be a lot better. Xbox is going to give you like very minimal piece meals together. That's not going to be as good as what I'm, as what I'm going to offer. And that's, that's the God honest truth. I'm looking right into the camera in this because I'm a hundred percent serious. The, the cloud gaming that you're going to see from these large corporations are going to be very piecemealed. They're still going to make you buy games. They're still going to make you have to buy different hardware to play the games possibly like, like, like Google Stadia did, which is why that failed. And then there's going to be other things that they're going to probably charge you, upcharge you for that you're not even going to know about. Okay. Eventually, I'll, I I will reveal my cloud gaming structure, but essentially it's going to be a hundred percent better than anything you're going to see on, on online, and it's going to be a lot a, a lot better. As, way fly. I don't I don't know how the hell a fly got got in here. I have to kill this thing after this this fucking episode. Um. But. My that's my caution. I I can assure you that things are going to get higher in price, and then the quality is going to go down. So that's what we've been seeing with Call of Duty, right? From like Modern Warfare Three er era, it's everything's just kind of gone down to just copying and pasting, and it's just been copy paste, copy paste, copy paste, and they're making more and more money. And they they got they got up to eight billion dollars by just doing that copy and pasting method. So. I see a problem with that. Some of you may not see that, but I, I see a problem with that. And I'm sure that I'm not the only one that sees a problem with that. The, the, real, the real big issue here is that we are not going to see quality stuff. We're going to see quantity. Now, I could be wrong. This is the dark side of the things that, that I'm going to see. And see, the, 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 the worst part about this is that we are going to see them leveraging their audiences. So Xbox, PlayStation, mobile, you know, Apple, Android, they're going to be monetizing their audience as much as possible, which also means that game developers are going to have to pay out, out of the ass 
to stay on those stores, which is what you don't want. You need competition. You may think, oh yeah, well, we got Android and Apple, but the problem is, is that if it's just Android versus Apple, then you have no other competition. There's no other Apple that compares with that competes with the Apple store. If Tesla makes a phone, that might be a new thing. That might be a direct competitor of Apple. But there really is no competition for Apple or Android in, in, in this sense. There's other Androids that, that are made, but there's really no other iPhones that, that are made like that can compete directly with, with Apple. They don't have their own stores. Same thing with Steam. There's nothing to, to really compete with Steam. Now, the Epic Game Store is coming online, and which is you know getting a little bit more attention, but it doesn't even come close to Steam. That's the that that's the that's the that's the real thing that we have to talk about. Is like there is no competition in, in these things. Like there is an oligopoly, but it's really not that because essentially there's there's a monopoly on on different systems. There's no really no. There's no competitor to Xbox. Yes, it's PlayStation, but there's no competitor to PlayStation besides Xbox. So now what what we're what we're starting to see is we're starting to see direct competitors fighting over certain things. Like again, PlayStation didn't want them to they didn't want my, my, Microsoft to to acquire Activision, but that's just a power hungry thing, right? That's all that's happening. But PlayStation people are not going to switch to Xbox tomorrow. I can assure you that. I have make videos on this all the time. And people are like, oh, Xbox is better. Oh, PlayStation is better. Oh, Xbox is better. Or controller is better. Or M and K is better. Like, that's what happens. We create divide. And that's what's been happening in, in this country. We're creating divide. And this is, whether you like it or not, it is it is going to impact your life. Everyday life, whether you like it or not. Whether you're a gamer or if you're, a, you're an investor or if you're an everyday 9 to fiver Big corporations taking over what you know what you see what you consume that's a problem i know that a lot of you will think i'm crazy and probably you've already clicked off by by now but this is a real issue having no competition direct with xbox having no competition direct with playstation besides two companies that is not a good thing either that is pretty much a monopoly but it's called an, it's called it's called an, an oligopoly okay so that's something that you really have to understand that this will affect you in gaming. Now, whether it be if you're on Xbox, whether if it be on your you're on PlayStation, whether it be you're on PC, at the end of the day, we are all going to have to stick together and make a change. We are going to have to one of us, some of us are going to have to create competition directly for for these companies so that one, they start making quality shit again, and two, so that they don't have an oligopoly or a monopoly on the market. That's the God honest truth right right now. And I'm staring directly into the camera. I'm not looking away. I am, har I am hardly stuttering because this is true. This is something you have to think about. No matter if you are fucking 15 watching this or if you're 45 watching this, I don't care what your age is. This will affect you. It will affect your hobbies. It will affect your everyday life. It not only will affect the gaming experience, but also affect the job market too. Working at one of these companies, it's like, they may pay well, but it's like, are they going to pay well though? Are they, Compared to like what the actual rate is? Like that's what, everyone's bitching about this. But like nobody actually sees the full picture of what's really happening. Which is kind of funny to me. It really isn't. A lot of people will probably click, click, click off and they won't see this far and they won't care. But it's like, it does affect you. Whether you like it or not, this shit does affect you. And I see total. I see people complain about money. I see people complain about the job market. It's like this is all connected. Everything that you do in your life is all connected. We need competition is the source of capitalism. If we don't have competition, that's a problem. That's why Mark Zuckerberg is a problem. If Mark Zuckerberg buys all the social media plat platforms out there, we're just gonna have a shitty Facebook just all all times over. Which is why TikTok was was not acquired. Which is why they said no, because they they knew that they were gonna out there they were gonna outbid him. But a lot of people, what happens is they get they get into a business because they're not really an entrepreneur. They just have a good idea, and they get into it, and then they sell it to to a big corporation. But that's a problem. Is then now there's no competition in that area. They've bought out their competition. That's not okay. 
that causes problems for everyone. doesn't matter where you live. It doesn't matter what part of the state you're in. It doesn't matter what part of the country you're in. It affects you. I'm trying to make change with gaming for right now because this is really what I'm passionate about. But there's a, there's a, lo- there's a shitstorm coming in the next 10 to 20 years if we don't do something about it. I can, I can assure you that this Game Pass will be overpriced for the shit that they're going to give us. They may have a lot of stuff on it, but it's still going to be overpriced. It's going to be way overpriced, and it's not going to be worth it. I can tell you that. Whatever PlayStation has is their cloud gaming, same shit. It's going to do the same thing. Now, what's happening is they're competing directly with one another to get stuff on the platform. So, like, they're trying to make Xbox exclusives, like Call of Duty, let's say. PlayStation is trying to scramble to make to make PlayStation exclusives. Eventually, everything is going to do that. But Steam, right, Steam, Steam, right now, to me, is like the they're okay. Like they're just the king in their own in their own corner. Because Epic Game Store, I feel like, doesn't even have like anything on them. There's probably a lot of there's a lot there's a decent amount of users since Unreal Engine is getting a lot of attention, especially for developers. They're getting more attention than the Epic Game Store. But I can tell you right now, Steam is still on its still on its high horse, at least for right now. So, I know that this is ranty, and I know that most of you probably already left by now if you've even seen this far, but I, I, there is, there is a, there, there is something that we have to do about this. Like, competition is healthy. We have to have the competition to make our games better, to keep our games good as, as quality. Because again, Call of, Call of Duty has no direct comp- competition. Battlefield was its direct competition, and the last two titles from Battlefield have been like, eh. So really, they're not even direct competition anymore. You know what I mean? And that's the issue. Where there's no competition, why why would they try to do better if they don't have to? When you're just going to keep buying the skins in Warzone and giving them a billion dollars a year? That's the thing you have to take into consideration. I'm not saying stop playing. I'm not saying that. There there has to be change. There has to be competition. So if you see a company that's small, support it. Especially if it's in the cloud gaming space, if there's an indie developer, like indie developers may actually give us the power that we need. Because if there's a game that's out there that's actually worth the time, if the if the big companies don't pick it up in time, some other small company may may pick it up, which which makes it which makes it better competition. And the more attention that we give to to those indie developers and those small companies, the better. Because then it creates competition. So that now, you get better games in general. So now Call of Duty isn't just cranking out trash every, every, every year. And we're just like, oh, it'll be better next year. No. I, I still stand by the fact that, that Call of Duty should just split, sp- again, split up those three teams. And then just, and then just make, make those three separate items. Zombies, Warzone, and Multiplayer. Have them focus on it and then bring it into one game. And just have that forever. Maybe maybe not forever, but at least make it last five to ten years, if not twenty years, with content, new skins, new content, new battle passes, new uh, you know COD points, what whatever. And um, you know maybe there's a there's a map pack that you have where they bring back those prestige items or not prestige like the collectible items like the Juggernaut fridge, like stuff like that, where they make something new, obviously not just redo the Juggernaut fridge. Um, maybe, maybe they do like a sleight of hand or whatever, you know, the, you know, that's like, that's the things that like we need back. We need the creativity back. So it's not just like a plain, a, a clear cut and dry. A lot, a lot of young gamers don't know what it was like back then. So they don't, they don't understand this perspective where it's like, they don't know what the quality versus quantity was because Call of Duty has been cranking out one, you know, one year Call of Duty since, you know, since the beginning. And it's like, you know, that's okay, but it's like now it's just becoming just a money grab because it's just always a new Call of Duty with like all this hype around it, all this marketing, and then it's like you play the game and it's like it sucks. Or you watch somebody play it and you're like, the, the, you know, the 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 content creators trying to like muster up all the courage that they can, be like this is such a fun game, yeah, fun. And they're just screaming into the microphone because they just died or something from something stupid, you know. And you're just like, I know you're lying. I know you're not having fun. I know that as a content creator, you are not having fun. I know you're not. Stop lying. <laughs> just because you got to support a creator code doesn't mean you you have to you have to like this game. You know what I mean? So um, it's like I, I I've watched Tim in the past three or four Call of Duties do the same thing, 
oh yeah yeah it's, this is just a beta guys remember it's just a beta and then you know it's, it's phases so it goes oh this is just a beta don't worry guys they're gonna fix a lot of this stuff game comes out nothing ever gets fixed they're shitting on it right they're doing really really well they're shitting on people and then uh you know skill-based matchmaking kicks in and then they, they're not doing so well anymore after a few months and they're like oh we need to do call of duty game and it's yeah, it's this game sucks the next one will be better. And then they hear, and then the announcement for the new Call of Duty is out, you know, Call of Duty fucking three or whatever. And then, you know, they're, they're sitting there. Oh, well, uh, you know, the, uh, the new Call of Duty, I think it's going to be blast. And you know, it's the same cycle. That's, that's, that's the cycle. It's, it's, it's denial, more denial. And then <laughs> it's denial, more denial. Then they, they, they're like, Oh, maybe, maybe the next one will be better. And then it's just the same. It just the cycle repeats. It just repeats. You know, denial, denial, hate, re <laughs> re re repeat. It's just the same shit all the time, and that's that's the issue. Like that, no one and nobody ever wants to make the real change. So it's like I don't want to buy it anymore. I'm not buy. I'm not wasting my hard-earned money on this game so that you can just be shit every time. It's not what I'm doing. I'm not doing it anymore. And DMZ is free, and I don't even want to play that. I'm gonna be honest with, with, with you. I enjoyed it for a little bit, but like the last encounter that I had, which I told, which I told you about last po podcast episode, of me just being in the same building as bots, and then all of a sudden getting shit on by a player. I'm just like, I even know that was a player. Like, what the fuck? I'm 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 mid battle, and then these guys come in like, oh, we're so tactical. It's like, no, you're just fucking annoying. So that's the thing. It's like there's no, I I don't know. I just I'm. It's just the quality just isn't there. And that's the problem for me. That's really the main problem. And I know some of you may not relate to that, but it's it's just it's the quality just isn't there. I, I need quality. I, I can't do it anymore. So I'm going to be playing indie games until I find a quality game. I've been playing mobile games just for fun, like the Alien Invasion. Uh, what else did, did I play? It's like a tr trooper shooter or something where like they drop from parachutes. I've seen it. I saw the, the, the advertisement on TikTok. I decided I was going to download it. I deleted both of those, but they're pretty fun games. You know, time consuming games for mobile. I, I mean, that's how bored I've been playing Xbox games, you know? And like Gears of War has been like, you know, the people that I play with are stupid. It's like, we're all like, I'm like, I'm a builder. And then people are building fucking barriers. And I'm like, why are you building? Because you got, you have a builder. So, you know, it, it is what it is. But I will say, <laughs> I will say that Call of Duty was fun when it, when it, when it was fun, but now it's, it's just, it's not the same anymore. At least I don't, I don't, I don't think it is. So with that, I will leave you. Make sure you like the video and make sure you subscribe because if you watch this far, it's just, just, just do it.